Oh, hello. I've been looking at your um, book, um, Enjoy Life Forever, and I'm just puzzled about chapter four and wonder if you could pass my details on to someone who could help um, about are there documents, New Testament documents, with the divine name YHWH in the New Testament? Thank you. Uh-huh. Um, so what you want to know is... Pardon? What, what is it you want to know about these? Um, yes, are there any New Testament documents that contain the divine name yod Hair vav Hair y h w h in the New Testament? Um, I've uh -huh. read your book, Enjoy Life Forever, and section one talks about um, the divine name being 7,000 7, times in the Old Testament, and that's fine, yeah. I would agree with that. But when I went to your Kingdom Interlinear translation, I mean, the very first occurrence of Jehovah is Matthew chapter 1, verse 20 in the Kingdom Interlinear, and uh -huh. the text simply says in the Greek on the left-hand side of the page that it was the angel... Angelus Curiu of the Lord that appeared to Joseph in a dream. The angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph. Um, uh -huh. The Greek says of the Lord. Curiu. But when you go to the right hand side, the New World Translation says angel of Jehovah, and Jehovah is not in the Greek text. I haven't been able to find it anywhere well, in the Kingdom um, of Selenia. In, well, that's. <laughs> Uh, that's a quite a, a complex one, right? Enough yeah. to explain. Yeah, of course, yes. Um, hi, there, there is, there have been things explaining all that about uh, Jehovah's name in the Greek text, and it has there have been remnants brought up where it had been transliterated, transliterated straight into the Greek. I'm I'm not interested in the Septuagint, the Greek Septuagint, which no, is the it's translation not a Greek of the Septuagint. I'm talking about the, the the scrolls that have been found way yeah. back. The New Testament scrolls. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, which the, ones contain the divine name, Jehovah or has, Yahweh? It's, it has. I didn't say it, it had the Tetragrammaton transliterated into the Greek. It, sorry, they they do have it in the Greek, or they don't. Yeah, they do. They they the do. The tetragrammaton is in the Greek. Right. I just can't say off the top of my head, but that's something I need to research. Would you be able to get back to me because um, all of these documents are available online? Um, yeah. You know, there are uh -huh. universities and museums around the world, and you can simply. I don't have internet access at the moment, but I do have a brief library session next week. I could look. Uh -huh. I could look these documents up because I haven't been able to find any New Testament documents. There's five thousand New Testament uh -huh. documents, yeah. and none of them it's have. Lot, the, a, could I just finish? It's a lot of could digging. I finish? Yeah, it's a lot of digging. Could yeah. I finish? Yeah. None of them have the divine name in it. But if I'm wrong, you could quote the Codex. You know, Codex one thousand and seven, or or Papyri you know, 37B or whatever the reference is, and I can then mm -hmm. look that up online, go to the university or the museum that has it, and look at the actual yeah, document. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll see what I can dig up. Thank, thank you. There's one other thing that really puzzled me. Um, looking at the Watchtower magazine, the, the Watchtower for the 1st of September, sir, um, 1988, page 13, says that Jesus is the former angelic brother of the devil, of Satan the devil. And I was, well, I was kind of shocked. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was at one time. The devil wasn't always the devil. The devil was an angel that went bad. Um, that's not my question. My question is the uh, fact yeah, that your literature... That's not your question. I, don't, I think I've spoken to you before. My, my question is that your literature says that Jesus and the devil were brothers. Yeah, I, were I agree time, that... The, yeah. The, the, the devil is an angel who's gone bad. I agree, I agree. The devil is an angel who fell. He was called Lucifer. He fell. He then yeah, became uh, known as Satan. I agree with that. W what I shocked me, um, sir, was the claim that Jesus was the brother of this angel before he fell. Mm -hmm. So that shocked you. How does it? I don't see why. Uh, pardon? I don't see why. Well, uh, my saviour, Jesus, isn't the brother of the devil. Um, <laughs> you know, people, no, people went to the arena. People went... That's going off. 
That's good offer a tangent, but I'm afraid I have got a meeting in a few okay. minutes. Okay. Um, my name is Robert. You've got my number. Has uh -huh. it come up on your phone? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's lovely. Sorry to bother you, and okay. thank you very much That's for your help. All right. What's your name? My, my name is Richard. Thank Richard, you thank you. Thank you. All the okay. best. Bye. Bye. Bye.